like my brain's wheels were turning but they were turning the wrong way you act like you were actually a teacher i low-key thought you were lying <laughs> My heart started beating so fast. All I wanted to do was scream and yell in her face. If this was straight hair, let's be honest, it wouldn't even look all that cute. Put that on your bucket list. Watch Gia's travel vlogs, because trust me, I'm gonna be everywhere. Let's talk about what happened in my early morning Spanish class. I'm definitely raising my kids in Massachusetts. I have family in Brazil. I'm going back this year to go visit. What is that? That is so me. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Giovanna Lenardi, and if you're not, then you already know. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be low-key catfishing for my passport picture because I have to go renew it. Since I'm finally leaving the country again this summer, you guys, yes, I'm going back home to Brazil to go see my family. I definitely am going to film. I'm probably going to record some videos in English, but mostly are probably going to be in Portuguese, but I'll try my hardest to put the translation on the bottom. If not, I'll make sure that the captions are available so all of you guys can still watch, but we all know the OG catfishing for your licensed passport picture. I definitely want to do my hair like that but the thing about me is that my hair is curly and I only have about an hour to get ready because I got home and the first thing I did was go straight to the shower to wash my hair because she was not looking cute. I took 30 minutes to do that. So it's already like 2.30 and my appointment is at 3.30 so you can imagine how stressed I'm feeling right now but like I'm low-key not that stressed because I feel like that's gonna be enough time for me to get ready. Oh, I feel like, okay, wait, no, again. Getting a half up, half down on curly hair is always so hard because I never have like the super correct proportions. I don't like it. I'll get back to you in one second once my hair is done. Okay, I did my hair. I literally still need to slick it back right here because it's so freaking annoying. The hardest thing to do with curly hair is to slick it back, but I just tied it over there. I'm just gonna slick this back later once I'm about to leave because I know it's going to try to pop up again. But I'm going to do my makeup and I got a new concealer. Uh, I got the camo concealer from e.l.f. And I also got the Morphe setting powder. I'm gonna try those out today. I'm still in a rush because my mom is gonna be here soon and I'm gonna be late. Okay, let's talk about what happened in my early morning Spanish class. I was in class and me and my friend Haley had this project due today and we decided to have another friend of ours, Anna, included in the video. This project was a video project, so we had to record ourselves. Obviously, we couldn't leave school to go and record ourselves, especially because we're also so busy with other things, so we had to record in school. The teacher tells us to go out in the hallway, and we do, and part of our project was sort of like a scene, and we had to run, but it wasn't like running like you're running. It was almost like jogging in a way, and we weren't shouting, we weren't yelling, we were trying really hard not to be super loud because we were obviously aware that there are other classes but every other class had a door closed their doors were all closed and our teacher is known to be a really creative teacher so she lets us be creative as well so we part of our scene was Haley and Anna running around the corner and we ran around the corner we were laughing and giggling because we're kids duh obviously it was funny and this rude teacher who let me tell you last year for Spanish I was supposed to do Spanish one but I had already done Spanish one three years in a row in my middle school so I didn't want to do Spanish one anymore but they automatically put me in a Spanish one class when I selected Spanish as my language the teacher that walked out that said the things I'm about to tell you was the teacher for that Spanish class that I was put in and let me tell you after the first day I quit I said no please put me in Spanish too because one I've been in Spanish three for three years and from the first day I knew she was gonna be really annoying so I'm so happy I got myself out of that class I transferred into a different class cool whatever now moving back on to today so we ran that corner and then she magically appears out of nowhere and she's like hey you guys are being really loud and super disrespectful you guys know that it's early in the morning and that there are other classes around you the second she said hey you guys are being really loud my heart started beating so fast because all i wanted to do was scream and yell in her face because i really don't like her no one likes her at all everyone who's ever had her has complained and complained and complained about her i would have also complained if i had her thank goodness i transferred out of that class moving on i just stand there and listen to her you guys are being excessively loud you need to be aware that there are other classes you're not even teaching a class you're printing papers if we're being so loud go ahead and close your door and then we didn't even tell her the name of our teacher we were just like we're in that class over there and she already knew who the teacher was and sent her an email 
email. So she already knows that my teacher is a really creative teacher and lets us have that creative side to our projects and is still complaining. She goes, she sends the email and my teacher goes, yeah, well, they're doing a project. So I let them go out there. Eat that, suck that. Ooh, I was holding it in so bad not to scream and yell in her face because I have never met a teacher more disrespectful. Like her attitude was nasty and I gave her attitude right back. And she was like, I don't understand why you guys are really out here. I looked at her, I was like, cause we're doing a project for a class. Our teacher is in that room right over there. You can go ahead and ask her. She's fully aware we're out here. I said it just like that and walked away. I was so done. I was so done because we already had gotten like a little bad looks here and there from different teachers who were only walking in the hallways. So not one single teacher from a classroom that was teaching a class walked out and complained about us. She was the only one and she wasn't even teaching a class. The other teachers that gave us dirty looks were literally teachers who were just walking in the hallways. We immediately would just say, hey, like we're just doing a project for a Spanish class. So our teacher knows we're out here. And they would either walk away or just be like, okay, yeah, sounds cool. There was literally one teacher, one teacher who was so disgustingly nice. Every time she walked by, she would smile at us. And it was like, wow, you know what? I hope I have you next year for Spanish. If you happen to be a Spanish teacher, I really hope you are. So I had a horrible start to my morning, not to mention while I was out there doing that project, why did somebody from my class come outside and tell me, hey, your Stanley just spilled all over the floor again. This is not the first time this has happened. My water bottle constantly spills all over the freaking floor because I feel like I, I put my backpack behind my chair and then I stand up and I leave my stand like in the pocket on the side so that I stand up, backpack falls to the floor, I don't even realize and it starts spilling everywhere. So freaking annoying. It honestly makes me just like want to break my Stanley in half and throw it away. Put it up for donation. What's going on? Are you kidding me? Not the first time, but the second time. And I kid you not, it'll probably happen again. But I try every morning to take it out of my backpack. But again, this morning, I freaking forgot. I really like this concealer. Ooh, it looks really good. This concealer is kind of eating right now. I was in my English class today and I have no complaints. I feel like everyone has that one class where you're all friends and you always have fun no matter what. Whoa, that was way too much. It's gonna be way too pigmented. Whatever, I'll wipe it off. English class? is the one class that I have with this one table specifically that I love. I hate when I miss a school day and trust me, I miss school days. I miss school days, okay? And I hate when I miss a school day and it's the day that we're meeting because I love that class. I don't really like the whole English curriculum. I don't really like reading books that are not my own interest. What I do love about that class is the table. I love it, love it, love it. And I had a lot of fun today at that table too. I would also like to ask, does anyone else's brain like like take a really long time to load. Like I was sitting there doing an independent work in my English class today and this book was referring to some type of like, I don't even know, I don't even know. My friend who was sitting next to me kind of compared it to like when you say once in a blue moon. I don't really know what that is. Like it's a, it, there's a certain name to it, but I don't know what it is. Like I can't remember to save my life, but um, wow, that's a lot of pigment. I sat there and like my brain was trying so hard to think about what it was and trust me, I had it loading. Like it was right there, but for some reason, like my brain wouldn't let me think it. Like my brain's wheels were turning, but they were turning the wrong way. And that's also not the first time that's ever happened. I constantly catch myself zoning out, dozing off, not understanding anything. Like sometimes I'll be in class and I'll speak to my friends in Portuguese, look to the teacher, she's speaking in English. And then I'm like confused. And I'm not even like, she's speaking gibberish for a second. Cause I'm like, wait, oh, I'm supposed to be switching to English. I think I've already complained about like the bilingual children's struggle, especially with like English class. So let me shut up and stop talking about that. Cause y'all already know how I feel about that. So I want to talk about my travel plans and my plans for the summer. So my school ends in June on the 18th, like most schools do. We have 180 days in Massachusetts, which is really annoying because I know I literally found out like yesterday that there are states that only have 160 days. What do you do on the other 20 days? What do you do? Let me know. I'm definitely raising my kids in Massachusetts. I feel like I always complain about living here like, oh, Massachusetts is so boring, but I would way rather, I would way rather live. No, I would way rather live live on the east coast especially in massachusetts just because it's so diverse here it's very i feel like it really builds your character i feel like this really prepares you for the real world i would never want to raise my child in los angeles or in, or honestly any region of california no thank you i'm out i would love to visit for sure but raising children there no thank you moving there no thank you you guys no thank you i really dislike when youtubers like move to los angeles and all of a sudden they're like new people and then they're always like we didn't even change like we're still the same
you don't even talk like yourself anymore. Like you actually genuinely act like a completely different person. Like who even are you? I will never move to LA. I might stay there on vacation, but never to like live there. I don't think I could ever do that. And if I do guys, please refer this video back to me and tell me, hey, you shouldn't move there because you said this, that, and the third. So save this video guys. Remember this in the future. Okay, why isn't this like sticker... Oh, that was scary. Okay, I literally just checked the time. It's like 3.03. .03. I have like 20 minutes to finish getting ready and I just keep yapping. I feel like I get so distracted. Um. Anyways, like I was saying, let me talk about my travel plans with you guys. I have family in Brazil. For those of you who don't know, my entire family was born in Brazil, except for me and my brother. We're the only two people who were born here. Where is the thing to put powder? Where has it gone? It has disappeared. So I have family in Brazil. I'm going back this year to go visit. Last time I visited was in 2022 over the summer. 2023, I wasn't able to visit, but I'm going back this year and I'm really, really excited. That's why I'm actually gonna go get my passport picture. I think I've already said that, but whatever. We definitely are going to be going places this time because last time we went, we went nowhere. Like we just went to my grandpa's house and we just basically stayed there. Like that's literally it. We went nowhere fun. We went to no beaches. It was honestly really sad and depressing, but now that I feel like I'm older and I can finally drive I don't think I can drive in Brazil though because I think you have to be 18 to actually even grab a Well, I mean no my mom's husband has been driving since he was like nine But like legally you have to be 18, but I can drive But like my mom will definitely not let me drive on the streets in Brazil because for those of you who don't know Traffic in Brazil is something else. My mom literally went out of her way to get a what is it called? Passaging. Passage. She went out of her way to get a, like a, a plane ticket so that we could go straight to where we have to go because when we stopped in Belo Horizonte, her brother picked us up and it's a like he drives really fast obviously you have to drive really fast because it's Brazil traffic it's super fast you're allowed to cut people off like you're allowed to like just like zoom in front of somebody else and like cut in front of them so it's dangerous and I don't think my mom will ever let me actually drive there but you know what y'all doesn't matter once I'm 18 once I'm 18 <laughs> guys actually once I'm 18 I'm not even kidding get ready for the travel vlog okay put that on your bucket list watch gs travel vlogs because trust me i'm gonna be everywhere portugal italy i hate when i say portugal like that because i know how to say it in portuguese portugal i hate i hate saying it in english anyways moving on france switzerland england i'm going everywhere y'all jamaica cuba costa rica puerto rico hawaii i'm going to all 50 states y'all trust i'm gonna have pictures and videos for all my kids to watch that is one of my biggest goals with this youtube channel where did the cap to this thing go hello I'm constantly losing everything. Anyways, one of my biggest goals with my YouTube videos is for my kids to actually know who I was and who I am because <laughs> my mom has like no pictures and no videos from her childhood and I wish, I wish I knew all the stories because there are so many stories my mom will tell me and then randomly she'll tell somebody else a story but that she's never told me. Like, oh yeah, when I was a kid, like an alligator bit my freaking leg off. When did you tell me that? Fully shocked. Like she'll sit there and tell these stories to random strangers, but she won't tell me. Excuse me. Like, come on, I'm your daughter. I'm supposed to know everything. I'm like, I'm so confused. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay. Oh, I need to rush. Ah! I keep talking. I keep yapping. Anyways. When I'm in Brazil, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun this time. Last time, did I have fun? 100%. But I feel like last time was like a really big reconnection with my family for me. Because for those of you who don't know, I've only been to Brazil two times my entire life because there was so much difficulty with my passport when I was younger. I went when I was three years old and then only went again in 2022. I went in 2010 and then I only went back in 2022. So I was gone for 12 years. That's a whole decade, is it not? So I was gone for a long time and I hadn't seen my family in a really long time. I feel like 2022 was a really big type of connection thing for me and my family because now we text all the time and now we facetime a lot now it's just like way better the relationship seems way more real so when we go back now i feel like i'm definitely gonna have an easier time connecting with all my cousins all my aunts and uncles and stuff because trust me being part of a brazilian family there's so many aunts uncles cousins like third fourth twelfth cousins twelfth aunts and uncles to get used to and keep track of where is the cap to this where has it gone did i drop it on the floor whatever anyways there's so many people to keep up with it's generally one of the hardest things to remember and i hate offending people one of my biggest things is i hate not knowing somebody's name because i hate when people don't know my name right because is my name a little hard to remember sure it's like long cool whatever it's not really like it's not it's not though giovanna it's not hard you know what i mean but it just like it doesn't piss me off but it's kind of like oh like you didn't remember my name so you never really cared about what i said to you okay whatever i just i'll just pretend next time i don't know your name either i'll be like oh anna 
Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Clara, Clara, sorry, 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 sorry. You just really look like an Anna. Like, don't play with me. Moving forward. Like I said, I want to go to beaches this time because last time we had gone to none. We went to no beaches. We went to no bigger cities. We were basically in the Hossa and that's it. We were on the farm and that's it. We did nothing else. I'm looking for something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, my lip combo. So once I'm there, I'm definitely going to film and record a lot of things. You know what I really want to record? Trying fast food, but like fast food in Brazil. Because I know they have McDonald's and I've tried it there. And let me tell you something about McDonald's in Brazil. You'll never have something like that ever again. It is so good. The chicken is just too real. It's too real. Like, actually, I don't think I ever went somewhere where the food felt so... Can I tell you guys one thing? I went there and I lost 10 pounds. When you leave this country, my mouth is sizzling. <clears throat> what just happened? I was put my lip combo on and I've got a little bit of this in my mouth and then my mouth started sizzling. I could hear it. Anyways, when you leave this country and you go somewhere outside of the United States and you stay for a reasonable while, you will come back less than you went. Let me tell you that. Like, everything is bad. I came back, my skin was clear, my hair was looking good, my everything was great. I lost 10 pounds. I was amazing. I was walking everywhere. So I was always like, fitness, yeah. I was eating healthy. I was eating like real authentic food that was not like disgustingly processed. And let me tell you something about that. That will change your life. Because like, even the foods in the United States that they say aren't processed and are fully organic are still processed and not fully organic they're really not it is so hard to lose weight in the united states it is so hard to constantly be going to the gym have enough time to go to the gym in brazil people usually get around on bikes like every household has at least one bike you know what i mean for those of you who don't know my mom was a teacher she actually told me this yesterday which was a story i also heard for the first time she was a teacher in brazil she would everyone in brazil during her time would go to school on a bike including the teachers and i sat there i was like oh imagine you have your backpack on your back and you're driving your cute little my teacher miss nudes hey girl how are you and you're just like you see your teacher across the like you're she casually leisurely is riding her bike right beside you i saw my teacher literally sometime last week at an ice cream shop and i was fully shocked i said i was oh this feels like an invasion of your privacy ma'am excuse me so sorry um let me leave the premise she left before me because obviously i got there when she was leaving but it was it felt so weird she's like why are you here like i never see you ever outside of school but because it was such a small town where my mom would teach, they saw each other all the time. My mom goes back now and people who are like full grown adults who have kids. <gasps> Miss Noons, how are you? Oh my gosh, I miss you so much. <clears throat> how do you know who my mom is? Like you act like you were actually a teacher. I low-key thought you were lying. <laughs> like I'll sit there and be like, wait, so you for real taught kids? Like they actually know who you are? Oh, I thought you were kidding. I thought you were joking. I thought you actually never lived before I was alive. I thought I thought you just like spawned and so did I. Isn't that weird? Like your parents know you for your whole life, but you only know them for a portion of it. That's, I don't want to talk about that. That's actually going to make me like cry because it makes me, so, I feel so, like when my mom goes somewhere with my brother and I'm not invited, y'all don't know how left out I feel. I feel so heavily left out. So now to think my mom had a life before me, um, I feel rejected. I feel left out. I feel embarrassed. I feel ashamed. Why did you- why was I not invited? How come? Not fair. Anyways, I'm done. Um, this is my makeup. This is the look. This is the hair. She's not looking the cutest or- actually, no, she is looking hella cute. Be real with me right now. Come on. Is it hard having curly hair? Yes. Would I rather have curly hair than straight hair? Yes. It give it- it, it gives it like that look. You know what I mean? Like, come on. If this was straight hair, let's be honest, it wouldn't even look all that cute. Like, it looks cuter on curly hair. Ah! Okay, sorry. I have places to be. I need to go put my socks on. I'm gonna take you guys with me only because I want to show you my passport picture really badly. Let me see if I can find my passport in here and show you the picture that it is now. Oh, shoot. I think my mom is here. <gasps> How do I, like, block out every single thing from this? Loki, let me, like, show you like this. What is that? Who is that? That's from 2019. No way. I'm putting my shoes on right now and I'm going downstairs because I can already, I didn't even open my mom's text, but I can already tell she's yelling at me through the screen that I should already be down there. I'll check in with you in a second. I got my picture taken. I'll show you guys in one minute.
this is the first time I've ever gotten a good picture for literally anything because I also look like a mess for my permit picture. So once I get my permit, not even my permit, my license, when I get my license picture, I'm either reusing this one or making myself look like a little baddie again. Wait, I kind of ate with my picture though. Let me show y'all it again. My picture lucky ain't. Look, don't, don't crush it. You're crazy. <laughs> I love how it looks. I might actually just change my profile picture to this. This is Loki, like so good. I'm in love with this picture. That is so.